another seltzer video. Today, Mike's Hard Lemonade Seltzers. It's time to get Monday drunk. the last Mike's Hard Lemonade Seltzer. Hello, thank you for being here today. Uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade Seltzers has four different flavors. We went up to our local Benny's Beverage Depot and uh, we snagged these. It looks like we got lemon, mango, strawberry, and pineapple. So today, uh, this is our sixth sell- Are you sitting on your foot to <laughs> yeah. be my height? We've picked our favorite flavor of each of the videos we've done. So far, I think we've agreed high noons have been top of our list. At least mine. High noons have been re were really fun. I have no memory of them. I so drink his amnesia. And I get blacked out, <laughs> and then I'm like, I don't know, something happened. I can watch a video about it. While you're watching this video, don't forget to like this video if you like the seltzer content. Uh, comment what your favorite hard seltzer is right now uh, on the market, and maybe we'll snag it in a future video. Uh, but first up. First up, we're going with Mike's Hard Lemonade Seltzer Lemon Flavored, 5% alcohol, 100 calories, ready to drink, ready to go hard. In Jesus. Sexual. I wanna kiss you. Okay, this is decent. And not, you know what, actually, I, I will say this is better than decent, because I'm used to the seltzers historically for me, I feel like they've been too sugary. They have. Damn, hard on the sugar, huh? Holy moly. And this one is a muted flavor of sugar. Um, I just want to clear up something that happened in a recent video. Uh, we did the Truly Lemonades, and a lot of people were like, you keep saying sugary, too sugary. There's only one gram of sugar. Hey, asshole, do you think Diet Coke with no, like, it's fake sugar. They're putting fake in them yeah. to make them taste sugary. <laughs> so take what we said and understand it tastes, let's say it's sweet. It tastes too sweet. Too sweet. So uh, this one, not too sweet. That's so true because people were commenting that it's only got one gram of sugar, idiots. I'm like, okay, yeah. I don't, I, didn't make I guess them. my taste buds were lying to me. They're, they're too like, you, you know when you take a swig of something, you're like, oh my, it, it hits you like, you feel like your chin, this happens to me a lot, you're just packing on the layers, dude. I don't want that. <laughs> this one, uh, nowhere near Truly's Lemonades. I don't mind that. Right now, that's in first place for me. God. I'm excited. I want a head but a knife. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, mango's next. Good All right, mangoes. mango up. Yeah, ready? Boom, unison, Cheers. sexual. Cheers. Now this one's good. Yeah, they taste less like fake fruit. And I know they're all probably fake fruit, but like this, that actually kind of tastes like a mango, which is wild to me. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Anytime you reference relative to other ones, I'm gonna have- No, no, no real go. mangoes. Tastes like a real mango. Not a re like a mango seltzer. No, 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 but I thought you were saying this tastes Less like oh, okay. that than other ones. You know, like you're comparing yeah. it to other I forgot ones. about the yeah. amnesia that you I, suffer from. I have no clue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I just say, two, two in, I am way more impressed than I thought I was gonna be. My gut instinct was like, yeah, they're gonna hit this out of, out of the park. Oh. Mike's Hard Lemonade is like the OG of the sweeter beverage game. That's a good point. If they haven't figured it out, then who the hell has? Mike's Hard Lemonade, always different, always refreshing. Uh, which one do you like better so far? Oh, mango for sure, mm -hmm. not even close. Me too. All right, let's get on to the berries. All right, strawberries. Cheers. Cheers. Now that feels a little sweeter to me. I still like it better than lemonade. I'm just not a big, or lemonade, better than the lemon. Yeah. Flavor. I'm not a big lemon person. I don't like fake strawberry all that much. I can see that. It's not the best of the fake fruit no, flavors. Mango is no. one of the tops. When I was a kid, like I loved like fake cherry and fake strawberry everything. And it, for some reason, as my age increased, <laughs> uh, my love of fake strawberry went down. Mm -hmm. And I'm sad about it because there's nothing I want more. Cry, little baby. Than a strawberry Cry about it. slush puppy. Little damn baby, I want to see some tears. From a little sad little boy. From a miniature golf arena. I heard if a ginger cries, it comes out as freckles. <laughs> it just oozes out of my my elbows. I got a lot of freckles on the bows, dude. I'm genuinely impressed by Mike's Hard Lemonade. Mm -hmm. I think they did a great job with these. Yeah, I got to agree. They were in a good spot. Like seltzers blew up, and they were already making the malt beverages or whatever they're called. So they were kind. It was kind of like a 
an easy pivot for them. They were like, oh yeah, okay, we'll add some bubbles. Exactly, man, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go second place. Mango, strawberry, lemon for me. It's really close to, I think mango and strawberry are almost neck and neck for me. That's awesome. Lemon's a little behind. I'm getting full of air. Something we've noticed in these six videos is when you do these types of videos, aka just drink these at the rate that we do, you're gonna be full of air. Yeah, you're gonna get aired up, dude. Yeah. What's that called when you get air in your blood? Baby, what's it called when you get air in your blood? I don't know. The troll's trying to nap. She's like the, the opposite of Alexa. <laughs> I don't know. Leave me alone. Go to hell. All right, last one. What do we got? We got Mike's Hard Lemonade Seltzer Pineapple. Once again, 5%, 100 calories. It's been the same, the same across the board. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Well, I feel like this just boils down to What's your favorite f fruit flavor? I think the thing that they did really well though is that is true. Because I think some right. companies, if it's so like not what it tastes like, you're like, wow, I normally like black cherry. Right. But this makes me want to kill a baby. Yeah. Which is my reaction to a lot of black cherry seltzers. Yeah. Um, but this, they, they stayed true to the actual flavor. Yeah. That is, sadly, I have to say this out loud, that is not how all of them do it. They, like, this company did it well. I completely agree. I concur. I concur. Do you concur? Concur with what, sir? And look at that. Do you even know that about these shirts? It's not even just so much that that's impressive. It's if that's not a, a, a way to sell the rest of those shirts out of our store. Don't think for a second. That's bad for my teeth. <laughs> All right, here's what I'm gonna do before I reveal it because I don't want to like tell you exactly what it is. Merch on, merch on, merch on. Number six for cheese is our website. If you buy something off the website and you support the show, like the Monday drug shirt. Dude, if you're drinking on a Monday, have a jersey. Today, two names of people that bought off the site. Merch shop number one goes to Mr. Ryan Cronaugh. Woo! Ryan's an amazing human being who bought himself three bottles of Sixer Sauce. We sent that out to, wow. Post and Kill New York. Made up, po made up Post place. Post and Kill. Made up place. That sounds, uh, that's impressive. That's an impressive <laughs> place. Uh, Ryan, I hope you really enjoyed the Sixer Sauce. I hope you got your hands on some hotter Sixer Sauce, because I personally think it's even better. It, it, it's not even, a, it's just a fact. It's better. If you don't agree, then you have a different opinion than I do. Merch shout out number two, Mr. Joe Fischel. Joe lives over there in uh, everybody's favorite town of Palos Hills, Illinois, made up place. And he got two bottles of Sixer Sauce. Joe, I hope you indulge in the hotter Sixer Sauce. I don't think anyone's ever said this before, but I personally think it's even better. Did you understand a single word of what he just said? <laughs> Number six for cheese.com. Buy something off the site. Uh, get a shout out. It's time for the uh, cue the Olympic music that underlays under this part for no reason at all. Uh, Corey, why don't you go ahead and give your Olympic podium? Hold on, you mean. Yeah, you got time, man. For a second or? Yeah, it's a jump cut show. I have a horrible take, but it's the truth. I'm tasting them. You've had horrible takes in the past because you put black cherry in many of your tops and I got really mad. Corey, welcome to the podium. Who do we got on the podium today? All right, so let's, I guess, start with bronze. Huh? Absolutely. So I'm gonna mix these up so no one knows because who knows what my I like that. That's a good idea. Is. Yeah. But what if now I forgot? <laughs> you, I, then you're dumb because <laughs> you've drank four things. All right, so lemonade got dis or lemon got disqualified for being trash, <laughs> which they aren't trash. This these actually as a quad are pretty good. Yeah, it's a good heat. I agree. Like, yeah, I know half in the Olympics. Uh, so for third place, who are we gonna go with? We're gonna go with. Uh, I really do forget, but I think it was pineapple. Yeah, definitely. Oh, probably pineapple. For Congrats you. on third place, though. And then uh, silver medal. I'm gonna go with mango. This is the hot take. I'm surprised strawberry. Oh! When I did the retaste tester, I ended up liking that, which I, it was almost too strong. But I, I don't know why. My taste buds just said, "Yeah, go with that. Don't be, don't lie to yourself." Yeah, you I mean, why like lie? It, There's all you have is your own word, you, you know? know, and your name. I love that we agreed. So uh, for my Olympic podium, hello, welcome to Sean's Olympic podium. Lemon, see ya. Which is, I was assuming, I was assuming that that's kind of ironic. Right, because it's then, Mike's hard lemonade. Exactly, I'm glad I didn't have to explain. <laughs> Bronze medal to strawberry uh, is my third place here today. Uh, second place, okay. pineapple okay. is my is my silver medal winner. And the gold boy, it's gonna go back to its country and just have an absolute parade laid out for them. Mr. and Mrs. Mango. 
Yeah. So, Mango, congratulations on your first place win. It's a damn champion. Yeah. Um, let us know if you guys have had these before, what you think of them. As we do these videos, every single time we put one of these out, it's like these companies are sprinting to put out new flavors. So maybe in the future you'll see us do Mike's Heart again. We got a lot to get through, dude. In two weeks, we're doing Travis Scott's seltzers of the Cocta. Yeah, I didn't know who he was until McDonald's partnered with him. Exactly. I Mike's hard, nice job. Uh, if you guys have any offices in Chicago, let us know. We'll swing by and get some free seltzers. <laughs> they are in Chicago. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. New videos every single weekday here at Number Six with Cheese. Sure, I'll have a seltzer. I'm starting to get drunk, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Told me the wrong thing. You said I did. You say I got the goods. I might have. <laughs> I think you did. Today we open up a, a package from fans and brands. This one is addressed only to Corey. Need a knife. Uh, to Waukesha, Wisconsin, uh, from Sky High Marketing. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Screaming Sicilian sent us pizza plates with the mustaches all over them. Dude, we are no stranger to pizza plates. We use them in almost every pizza video. Absolutely one of the coolest promo products you can make is a plastic pizza plate. We need to make number six with cheese. Maybe we reach out to this company. Yeah, because it's gotta be, I mean, spina has gotta know it if it's not stamped on the back You know here. what I mean though? What if we do number six with cheese pizza plates? Yeah, that would be brilliant. Flying off the shelves. You know I love triangles. Dude, I love triangles too. The pyramid? The Basically triangles before them. A couple of coupons for free pizza, and then uh, another pizza cutter. They make fantastic pizza cutters. Yep. These are so cool. Those also work well for circumcisions. Yeah, I've heard uh, a lot of, uh, what do they call the guy that comes and does that? Brisks. No, the guy who does it. A moil. A moil. You yep. have the moil come by. I got a moil on my back the size of Texas, dude. <laughs> what we're gonna do after this uh, video's over, I'm gonna open up the Screaming Sicilian pizza cutter, and I'm gonna moil the shit out of that thing. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, the address is right here. It's on Clark Street, which is really cool. Shout out to Clark. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Look who we got in the video. <laughs> little piglet. Ryan, no. Yeah, you look like a <laughs> Sith Lord with that hoodie on. <laughs> she does look like a Sith Lord. That's a good I'll one. get out of the video. <laughs> is that Darth Maul?